Darlene and I would like to welcome you all to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be making my mini slider burgers and I'm excited because my daughter's coming by tomorrow and she's bringing my grandson and he loves my little burgers. So these are, you know, kind of like the uh, crystals or white castle a little bit, but they're my version and we like them. So today I'm going to be making a smaller batch, but uh, like tomorrow I have to make a whole lot. So you can always double this batch to make it a lot f uh, for your family. So, but tonight um, I've only got, I have about 10 of my little, these are the little uh, hearty sliders, the little bitty bread things. So anyway, we're going to be making this today and it's going to be great. Yay. Okay, so the ingredients that we need today are, I have some breadcrumbs, Italian style. I love working with these things. This, this stuff is wonderful. And I have some minced onion. Now you can cut up an onion if you like. Mince it real, real small. But this is the dried, the dried minced onions. It works really good. It's easy. That way I don't have to cut up so many onions and have my eyes crying. Because <laughs> onions always get to me. I also have some garlic salt. It's up to you if you want garlic salt. I know a lot of you don't like garlic, so that's okay. And then I have some Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. There we go. And some uh, honey. Barbie, honey mustard, I'm sorry. This one says uh, old style honey mustard. Any kind of mustard will actually do. But the honey mustard gives it a really mild, good flavor. And then I have a little bit of a mayonnaise. A salad dressing, but I, it's my mayonnaise. And then I have one pound of hamburger. This is the lean ground beef. The lean uh, ground chuck hamburger. So it's, it's good to actually use the lean one for your little burgers. That way you don't have a whole lot of extra grease. And then I have some of my sliders. This is, there's 10 in this package. It comes big as a 24 package. So we've already used half of it. <laughs> but yeah, okay, I'm going to make at least enough for 8 or 10 tonight, today. And then I have some of uh, my mozzarella. And I, in this, I want the chunk so I can slice it. Okay, I'm not going to grate it. I want to slice it. And then I have two eggs. Okay, so that's all of our ingredients. It's uh, not too bad. It uh, gives it enough flavor, and I think that you guys will really like this. It has a good spice to it, and uh, the kids really love it. My grandson, he just turned four. He is something else. He loves these little burgers. And my other grandson, he's fixing to turn 10. He loves them as well. So I'll probably have him coming by tomorrow too. So I will be making probably two or three times this amount tomorrow <laughs> when everybody comes over. So, but this is wonderful for a, a little get together or something. So yeah, I think you guys will like this. Alrighty, so let's get busy. Okay, so I'm going to start with my eggs and then my hamburger and my fork. It went rolling. Two eggs. on me. I always try to wash my hands real quick. Rinse them off. Okay. Just beat them up. Just like when you're doing scrambled eggs. Just use the fork. Okay. I'm going to move my buns. 
and some of this other. Let me see. I'll start with the hamburger meat next. Just push that back there. big things of hamburger meat and slice it up. So I have one pound here. One pound of ground chuck. Beef. Lean beef. Tear it up. Sometimes everybody gets together and has, you know, the big hamburgers, and the adults do love them. But kids, they like these little sliders, and they can really put them away, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Oh, goodness. Yeah. But I like to see the kids eating, and I know that they're, you know, they have so much energy. So, yeah. But I like these little bitty burgers as well. Sure do. And they're great to put in little lunches. You can make them ahead of time. You can freeze them. And, uh, or just, you know, put them in, make them and put them in the fridge. And uh, send them with your children, you know, to, for lunch. Or your husband or something. These are great. Of course, my husband will devour several. <laughs> um, he likes them. Now I have a good uh, hamburger recipe, just regular big hamburgers. I do a little bit different and all the guys love them. Oh, they love them. I put a lot of different flavors in them and my, my burgers have a lot of spices and flavors and they're really good. This one's not too twangy because the kids like it. So, but it's good. Really, really good. Almost done with this. Just tear it up into pieces so you can work with it. Now, if hamburger, when you get it and it starts to slightly turn color, it's still alright. It's, a lot of times they have that dye in it. I don't like a lot of dye in my hamburger. But, you know, you do want a pink. But if it starts to slightly change color, just smell it real good. Make sure it's still good. You don't, you'll know when you smell it. So, almost done. Then we're going to get some of our other stuff in here. Get this going. Okay, that's pretty good for now. Yeah, just turn it in pieces. Turn it in pieces. Put this in the trash. Just a teaspoon. 
spoon for now. And my mustard. I need to get opened. Okay. I'm going to put a tablespoon of my mustard. Oops. It's new, so I gotta shake it up some more. Okay. And mustard. Honey mustard. Any mustards will work. The yellow mustards, any of them will work. If they just eat any one of them, they have, you know, they have a different taste. All your mustards do. So this one is the honey mustard. So I'm working with. I like my burgers to have a lot of flavor. One, let's see, one, yeah, for now. And this is my Worcestershire sauce. Turn it back and it open. I'll be back in a moment. <laughs> Get that open. Okay, y'all, I got my Worcestershire sauce open. <laughs> Two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. One. Two. Wash this real quick. Made my tablespoon clean. <laughs> okay. I need my tablespoon. salt and pepper. Right now is when I would do it. 
and I would probably put uh, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon, half, half a teaspoon of pepper, something like that, or I just sprinkle it in. I'm trying to cut down a little bit on salt. So since I put, since I did put that garlic salt in here, I'm not putting salt. If I was putting garlic powder, I would put salt a little bit. So that's up to you what you guys have handy to put in. Use what you've got handy. I try to tell everybody that. It doesn't have to be exactly like I make it. And sometimes you don't have the exact ingredients. So you use what you've got on hand. And a lot of times, you can still make it delicious. You can add something different, any of the spices. You can add all kinds of stuff. Make it your way. Make it great. I'm just using a spoon at the moment. Get that stuff kind of blended in there. I'll use my hands in a minute too. Because i got to get these eggs in there. So I guess I will. I'm going to go ahead and put the eggs in. Let's go ahead and pour them in. Get all my eggs in there. Using my fork a little bit in here. Love these things, they're so good. So good. Squish it down in there. <laughs> if I had a huge fork, that would work right. A huge fork. <laughs> I need to find something like that. A big, huge fork. So I'm just using the bottom part kind of of my spoon just to smoosh it up. And mix it all together. slices or so. I am going to start um, I'm going to do a half a cup. I love this stuff. I have started using this breadcrumbs in so many recipes. I love them. Okay, and I'm pouring about half in here. A little bit more than half, so it's about a fourth in there so far. Okay. Like I say, 
you can use some bread, torn up bread pieces if you need to. But I've really gotten to where I like, I like using these bread crumbs. So if you were doing it with a piece of bread, you would do, oh, I don't know, a piece of, one and a half, two pieces of bread maybe. But one and a half anyway. Piece of bread. You really have to look at the thickness when you're doing it to see what you like. working pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, I'm going to put the rest of this in here. Oops, I spilled it out. <laughs> it went flying. y'all this is going to be good it smells good <laughs> and it ain't even cooking once it starts cooking i get all them flavors yum i love the smell when things are cooking makes me so hungry <laughs> makes me so hungry well i was just going to use my hands but this is doing well. I have a huge, strong spoon. This is strong. <laughs> Use the back of it. Of course, it gives me some muscles here too. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Just get it mixed in. just to make sure I got it all in there really really good okay just get in there <laughs> get in there and do it smoosh it all together yeah this is how I can tell when I'm feeling it I can tell how dry it is you know or how moist it is whatever I need so when you you get to where you just know how it's supposed to feel and this is this is great this is great. I don't think I need, I don't really think I need much more. I could put a little bit more of the breadcrumbs in there at this point, or I can leave it just like this, because I think either way it would work out really good. Yum. Still mixing some of it. I can see a little bit of the crumbs and stuff in it. It mixed really, really well. And this is the ground chuck. So, like I say, it's not going to be real, real greasy like some of the hamburgers are. Hmm. I think this will be good. I don't think I need it anymore. So, if you have a lot of people you need to feed, go ahead and add a little bit more of the uh, of the breadcrumbs. But I think this is pretty good, just like this. Now, what I'm going to do is kind of mush it up. Trying to not touch anything <laughs> with my hands since I've got them messy here. And I'm going to take half of this. Yeah, I don't think I need any more breadcrumbs. I could. That's probably good enough. I'm going to take half of this. Put it in two. Kind of turn it into two pieces. Something like that. Okay. And this one, I'm just going to smoosh up. I put a metal wrap on my cookie sheet. You can see 
it's not covering the edges, but that way I don't make a big mess. It just makes it a little bit easier. I'm just doing it like this to figure how I want to do it. Actually, I'm even turning it into some little squares here. So I'm going to do it about like this. Make your square. Little squares. Now you can make circles. It don't matter. It's really up to what you want. I'm just trying to make some little squares. <laughs> now remember your hamburger or your uh, chuck burger, whatever you use, is going to shrink a little bit. This will shrink less than less than the uh, Regular ground beef. Thank goodness. Because <laughs> this shrunk's pretty good. Now, I need a knife. Let me wash my hands real quick. I don't never cut it exactly right. <laughs> it's almost like I need to recut it. Oh no. And you don't have to cut it first. I'm just doing it now because I'm afraid I can't get it in my pan without doing it. Anyway, now I'm going to get it underneath of it. And it's changing it a little bit. Yeah. 
Mine won't be exactly perfect, <laughs> but I'll try. Yours will probably be better than mine. Look at better. trying to do is have them be squares <laughs> but they're still mushy enough that they don't want to go into that exact shape yet but if I get it somewhat right right now then as it's cooking it will work out all right Might end up having to do four at a time, y'all. Four at a time. I wanted to do six, but I think I might have to do four at a time. But that's okay. Let me get my camera up here. low uh, heat. I'll turn it up just a little bit. It's a little closer to medium than low. And I'm going to let that cook for just a little bit. And my pot holders. Handy. Turn that over a little bit. Or shrimps down, but this is the um, let's see, what do you call that? The chuck, so it's not going to shrink down as much. I'm squishing it just to try to keep this the uh, size so it's not real huge in the middle, kind of just like any hamburgers, you know, they try to get really big in the middle. I do want the juice in it though. That's part of why I'm squishing it down right now, instead of waiting. I went ahead and turned it over, because it was already starting to change color just a little bit. This way I can control the thickness right now, instead of waiting until I can't do anything with it. This one here didn't get shaped right. <laughs> you can tell that. It didn't get shaped right. But it'll be good. So, I'm going to cook them. I have it on a medium low. Closer to medium. But it's between medium and low. So that it doesn't cook too fast. Okay, so that's cooking. Get 
some of these out and put them on a plate. Put them in my rolls. A lot of the kids like the uh, this honey mustard. It's not real spicy. And they like it. Okay, so I'll have these ready. My cheese, if I get it sliced. Slice up my cheese. Get this opened up. This is the mozzarella. You can use any kind of cheese. You can use regular yellow orangey sliced cheese if you like, or you can use Velveeta. We like the mozzarella on these. It's so good. Starting to turn a little bit more brown. It's okay to turn them a little bit here and there to check on them. These four turned out a little bit thicker than I thought they would. They'd be really good though. Adults like thicker. <laughs> So I can make the next ones it's thinner, a little bit thinner. So you can control how thin or thick, you know, that your burgers are. So they can be a little bitty thin, um, like White Castle or something, or they can be thick. So it's really up to you how thick you like your burgers. And I'm just slicing this cheese. I want to slice it thin though. to make them be um, the thickness that you like um, but they're gonna taste wonderful so you guys always want fatter burgers I know they do they like the meat lots of meat but the kids like the real thin ones so I'll get the next ones to be a little thinner than these 
These are bigger. And I think they're done. They are done. I'm sure they are. Yum. We'll get a little crunchiness on the bottom. I cook pretty quick. I am cooking them in my, uh, my cast iron skillet. So that actually makes them cook quicker as well. So, but these are done. These are done. All right. I guess I need to tear this apart a little better. skillets get really hot really really quick I'm going to turn that off for a second and I'm going to finish I'll work on the rest of them in a moment but these what I do make sure my camera can see okay what I do is go ahead and get this cheese on the hamburger meat look at that meat look at that that's really good Y'all can see it. They're a little bit thicker than I planned on, but the next ones I can control and squish them down some more and make them thinner. So if you like the fatter ones, that works wonderful. If you like it thinner, squish them down some more. My husband and my family, they're just going to eat them. <laughs> I know they will. They'll just eat them. Some more cheese on there. Yum. Put that cheese on there. Yum. Okay, now these are nice and warm. I'll put the lid on them. Yum. Wonderful. Wonderful little sliders. There we go. There's some. There's a couple. <laughs> now I'm going to make some more, but I'm going to make them thinner. Okay? So, that's these. And uh, I'm going to make some more, and then I'll be tasting them. But uh, you don't have to watch it the whole time. So, yeah. <laughs> Let me get these going. I'm going to put this on there a little bit thinner. So I'm going to squish them some more. Tell you what. Squish them. I might make this into three. So I'm going to make these a little bit thinner. A little bit smaller. So I'm cutting off a piece of each of those. I'm going to put that in my hot pan. My pan is already hot so it's going to cook quicker. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and push it, make it flatter. Like I said, this is not the regular hamburger meat. It is the the uh, chuck. So it's not shrinking as much either. Which, like I said, works pretty good. It's working really good. Now I'm making these. I'm squishing them down so they'll be thinner. And that's what you guys can do. Squish it down, make it thinner. Too much. If 
you squish it little bitty bitty, you'll get something real thin like white tassel. My spatulas is all I have to work with. So. two or three pieces of cheese on the little burgers. And some more of this. Yeah, all those cook so fast, I can barely keep up with them. Mustard on. For my little bread, little breads, <laughs> and some extra little pieces here. Turn that off. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> They're wonderful. 
See, those are thicker than these are. And that is thicker than that one is. You can see the difference. I don't know if you can see the difference. But these are thinner. These are thinner. Okay. Oh, my cheese. Put my cheese on there. on that one <laughs> that'll be great now y'all will probably do it a whole lot faster than I did but you'll do wonderful I'm sure that yours will be absolutely great this is off okay y'all so I have some of them made and y'all saw the how long they took to make some of them the thinner ones cook really quick, really, really quick. So, what I'm going to do, actually, I think a little bit easier way, uh, I'm just going to use my hands and put them in, and they'll be kind of round, kind of square. It's whatever shape you want them to be in. <laughs> so, I'm going to bring my camera up, get that started, and y'all have to watch all of it. So, but let me do that real quick. Okay, so... I'm going to put this little bit out there to this right here. Smoosh it up a little bit. Use my hands and just make them faster. Get that in there. Turn that straight down to medium because it's already cooled off some. And I hope I do this in a good way for y'all. <laughs> I'm just going to make some little ones. Make them squish them to the size I want because I did have trouble squishing them with my spatula because I wanted to stick to the spatula. So just squish it as small as you can get it. I mean as small as you can get it <laughs> if you want thin ones. If you want real thin ones then just kind of smoosh them into really thin ones. Okay? Oh, okay. There you go. My pan's not as hot it's cooled off some and apparently just make them small if you want them real small just make them smaller but they were sticking to my spatula that was a little bit difficult to do But I'm just trying to trying to make them a little bit square, not quite round. And the last ones that I did that were uh, thinner, they cooked really quick. They cooked um, on medium, medium low, pretty much. That's a smart one. I get it in here, then I can squish it, make it a little bit smaller if I want it smaller. So you can make it as small a square as you want or a bigger square. That's up to you. Totally up to you. And like tomorrow, if I go to make a whole bunch of these, I'm going to have two skillets <laughs> for sure. So you can make them any size you want, any thickness you want. See, that's what I want y'all to see. Y'all can make it your way. <laughs> that one's thicker, thinner. Cut that off. I'm going to add some more to it. Cut that one off and add some more to it. Because it hasn't had too much time to cook yet. This is taking me a little while, but if you were grilling on the grill, it takes you a while too. I 
you can control the thickness or how thick it is. And you saw about how long it takes to cook, especially the thin ones. And the way that I'm doing them, these here are thinner. So this here is what the kids will like, the thin ones. A couple smaller thin ones. It's not exactly square. But good. Oh, I'm telling y'all, these things are good. They're tasty to eat. They may not always look so pretty, but they taste great. They taste absolutely amazing. They smell good. There, I've got several of them in here right now. I think I'll try to fit one more small one in the middle. And I still have more. See? So you can make quite a bit of these. This is making six. There's still enough to make at least four, three. One, at least three more. At least three more. So this is six. So that's six, six, nine, uh, uh, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay. So you can get for 15. One pound will give you 15. If you make a lot of small, thinner ones. But you saw some of them were much, much thicker. So anyway, I'm hoping, I hope that I'm helping somebody, some young people, kind of put some together and kind of estimate how much you can make out of it. How you can control the thickness or thinness of your little burgers. Or how big, you know, just give y'all some ideas. Y'all don't have to do everything just like I do it. You don't have to do it my way. <laughs> so you can probably do a whole lot better some other way. And that's okay. I just want y'all to get in the kitchen and cook and have a good time. And make some of this yummy stuff. These things, they really do taste good. They really do taste good. Mm -hmm. And they cook quick. This is quick. It really is. So now I've still got enough for three more, uh, at least three more, maybe four, but I think at least three more. So I make 12, 30, 40, 15, 15 or 16, depending on your thickness. I know y'all are going to like these. These are tasty. These are tasty. I love the little onion, the uh, uh, minced onion. Um, it was just so easy to just shake it, you know, just get it out of that uh, container and not have to cut up all them onions. If you like garlic, mince up a bunch of garlic. You know, mince you up a fresh onion if you like. But if you're in a hurry, do like I did. Get them shaker things and them things are amazing. And any of them that cool off, you can always just sap it in the microwave, you know, for about uh, 15 seconds or so if you like. Or you can make them all ahead of time, then zap them. So you can control whether you want to cook them slow or a little faster. I'm going to turn this down just a smidgen. i wash my hands and take care of my camera. Okay, y'all, where's y'all 
see how good these are. Look how quick they cook. They're smaller. These have got done fast. I had to mess with my camera. Mm -mm -mm. I had it down a little bit, but not all the way down. They're still great. They are wonderful. Small, they cook quick when they're little, y'all. When they're thin, they will cook very quick. Yeah, I was messing with my camera. It, uh, the battery. Battery was dying on me. So anyway, let me get that on the plate. Let's get them on the plate. Now, if you guys want big hamburgers, these are perfect when they're big. Big old burgers, they taste amazing. Okay? They taste amazing. So big or little, like sliders or as big old burgers, they're wonderful. I do have some more to cook there. I do still have some more. I still have three. <laughs> I'll get that going. here. Smush it down because they seem to do just fine for little bitty burgers. Just fine. Put that in there. Squish it down some more. Don't get burnt. Now, a cast iron skillet cooks quick, too, I think. I think they're a little quicker than a regular skillet. Maybe not. Well, for those of you that like to watch how I do every little thing step by step, this is what I've done. This is how long it's taken. <laughs> Not really long. Just had to stay with it. There we go. And I'm finding, forget the shape, <laughs> they're going to taste good. <laughs> so if they're not perfect squares or perfect circles, that's okay. If you want to make them perfect shape, go for it. it there we go okay
You'll find yourself washing your hands a lot, and that's good. So, I'm just letting these cook. I have them almost on medium. It's not quite all the way down there. And the cast iron skillet really holds the heat. So that's my last bit. I have, we have these and these little ones and these. Two bigger ones and two smaller ones. And they cook and cook pretty quick. Now, the only thing we've dirtied is a couple of plates. I mean, you know, and uh, I did dirty these. And then just a bowl. And this here, I had the uh, metal rack on it. So, you know, all I got is hold that up, put that in the trash. Put that up. I didn't dirty a whole lot of dishes. This is wonderful. Wonderful. In the trash. Yeah. I like a clean. I like easy sometimes, you know? Down here. There we go. Clean it up. Nice and clean. Now, these are ready to turn over. I believe they are, yeah. Smaller. These two are smaller, but little kids will love it. The adults can have the bigger ones if they want. Oops, I broke it off. I think. Broke that piece off. The onion stuff and the garlic I put in here, and that Worcestershire sauce, honey mustard. Y'all, this is these are great. These are great. So, I'm going to put the, put the rest of the, put some mustard on these and get them ready. Finish getting my cheese ready. Okay, so, got me some more cheese sliced up. I'm going to put some, put some mustard on these. And those are almost done. They're almost done. They cook that quick, y'all. This honey mustard, let's see, that's a top. This honey mustard works really good with these little burgers. A lot of times I use the spicy ones, but I like these on this. It has a wonderful flavor. It just depends on what it is you're eating sometimes, or what kind of mustard you want, you know? Or if you want it spicy or not. Alright. So, I'm sure these are done. They don't take long. <laughs> Do they? They don't take long. Oh, these look good. It looks good. I tore a piece of it off of it. Big ones and small ones. <laughs> anyway, they cook pretty good. I was afraid I would overcook them. These here look pretty good. smaller than others. I'm going to put this one on it. And a bigger one. And small ones. But worked out perfect. That's off. These are wonderful. Put some cheese on them. You can put them in the fridge or freezer. 
have them ready for lunches. Whatever you like. They're just great. Now this mozzarella cheese, I'm going to tell you what. This set my finger in it. <laughs> mustard. Mozzarella cheese. And these, oh, it tastes so good. I hope that y'all try it with the mozzarella. I really do. I did that in upside. Uh oh. Uh oh. Look what I did. What did I do? That's the bottom. That's the top. Okay. I put the hamburger on it. <laughs> I put the hamburger on the lid. There we go. <laughs> I sure did. That one goes there. And that one goes there. Alright. Now. Your top. Your top. <laughs> See if you can do it better than me. Yum, y'all. Yum. There we go. Look at that. Two dirty plates here. Look at this. Wonderful. Wonderful. you bless them all and bless all of us and help this food to nourish my body and anybody else that makes it. I ask you, Father, to bless us all and take care of us, guide us, help us to stand your will for our lives. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your son. Thank you, Father, for everything. I pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Yeah. He helps me make good stuff. I want to give him thanks. For everything that he helps me to do. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Mm. I won't drop them. <laughs> Yum. Yum. Look at that. Yummy. <laughs> I hope that you guys try making these. I sure do. Oh, they look so good. They smell good. My kitchen smells good. And uh, I like these. I love the flavor of these little burgers. I'm telling you, they, they're, they're really, really good. I hope so much. I hope so much y'all guys try them. And try it with the mozzarella cheese and the honey mustard. That's, it's wonderful. It's wonderful this way. Yeah. So I'm going to get me on my own little plate and put some on it. And go ahead and eat it. <laughs> My goodness, y'all. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm very pleased. Very, very pleased. I think that you guys are going to like these. Yeah. Oh, look at that. It's wonderful. <laughs> Yum. All right. Now, I get to dig in one of these. Yum. I know that tastes great. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> oh man, melt in your mouth. These are these are wonderful. You guys have got to make them at home. 
I gave you a good recipe, and I know that you guys, if you make them, you're going to like them, whether you make them skinny or big burger. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm. I like that cheese. Mustard. <laughs> I think you guys will love these. I'm glad I got to share them with y'all. I hope that y'all watched it all the way through. But, uh, I know it was kind of long. I had to do it in batches. I really should have had, I guess I should have had another skillet over there. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, so if you have a big skillet, a couple of big skillets, do it that way, if you want. I mean, it all depends on your time, of course. How fast you want to do everything. Mmm. Mmm. That is good. These little rolls are absolutely perfect with these little sliders. And they do taste very similar to uh, some things we've had in the past from the little restaurants, but mine taste even better. <laughs> I think you'll like the spices and the amount that I put in there. Now, the first time you make it, it'll tell you whether you want it spicier or not. I think this is perfect. I think you're going to like it just like this. So, if you have to make a bunch of big burgers or little ones, whatever you want, double the batch, you know. I use one pound of hamburger, the, uh, and I use the uh, ground chuck, the lean ground chuck. And that is why I didn't have to worry about grease, y'all. I did not have, there's no extra, barely, but half a, not even half a teaspoon. I mean, there's not a lot of grease in this pan. It's not. And that's because it's the ground chuck. So our hamburger did not shrink down as much as regular plain hamburger would. So... For these particular things, the ground chuck is perfect. But, you know, regular hamburger will work too. It'll be great. That's what I used to always use. I, I always use the regular hamburger. It's less expensive. But sometimes you want something like this. So, it works really good. But these little bitty burgers, the bread bun, hamburger buns, little bitty, not hamburger buns, they're the slider buns, the parse. The party sliders, <laughs> well, y'all saw the bag. Y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you can little, use little bitty hamburger buns. That'd be good too. But these, these have a soft, I like these. I like these. And with the little burgers, I put that, you saw the mustard. I used this um, honey mustard. It's not an expensive one. I think this is a dollar from Walmart. Old style honey mustard. It's it has a great flavor, especially with this. And like I said, kids will like this one too, because it's kind of mild. If you like a spicy one, use a spicy one. It'll still be really good. You liking whatever you like. Mozzarella cheese. Mmm. Try it this way. I think you'll love it. This is this is good. <laughs> this is really good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I like that onion in there. See? Now I use my garlic salt. I love... I like using the un minced onion in this. I put quite a bit. Love it. Love it. Regular onions would be really, really good too. Now your regular onions are going to put more liquid into your hamburger. You know, onions and vegetables and all that, they have water in them. They hold water. So when you cook them, it's letting out that water. So this here is already dried. So it soaks in 
the hamburger and all the moisture and the egg and stuff that I put in. So this here really, really works very well in this recipe. The minced onion, dried, dehydrated, you know, it works really, really well. And I like the, uh, I like using Worcestershire sauce. It gives it a good flavor. Good flavor. Yeah. So it's spicy, but not too spicy. It's perfect. It's perfect. You guys are going to love it. Y'all let me know. Let me know what you think. Tell me if you try it. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Leave me a comment. Yeah. Subscribe to my channel. That always helps. Subscribe to my channel. I put out something new every week. I'm trying to put out several. Um, but I put out a good variety. I put out all kinds of things from casseroles, meats, um, vegetables, salads, soups, um, pies, breads. I'm trying to put out a little bit of everything. I mean, uh, your main dishes, you know, your, your meats, all the different, all the different things I can think of, everything I can think of. So I don't want y'all to miss anything. I really hope that you guys like it. I like, I hope you like what I made tonight. And I hope that you try, uh, take a look at some of my other uh, recipes, other dishes that I've put out. I think you will like them. I hope you do. And I really do appreciate y'all watching, especially all the way through. And uh, I hope that you guys like what I make and my style of cooking. I try to show step by step because I'm trying to teach. Uh, I like to try to teach young people. I have different ones that are watching and they watch me step by step so that they know how to do things. You know, you have a lot of people that haven't had anyone to take the time to teach them. Um, too many people working, you know, everybody's working. They don't have time to come home and teach a meal or teach the kids how to, uh, how to make these things. And it's amazing you know, the things they don't know how to do and they really want to. I have a lot of people getting in, getting into the kitchen and watching me and asking me questions and saying they like, you know, how they, how I teach it. And um, I hope that uh, everybody understands why I say and do all the different things. I take a long time sometimes to get all the information out. I don't want to forget something. And I really hope that I help somebody. I hope that I help somebody with all the ways that I do things. And I like that. I love that. So thank you so much for watching. And uh, yeah, tell me what you think. Tell me if you try it. Yay! <laughs> so yeah, subscribe to my channel. And check out some of my other videos. Thank you so very much for watching. So yeah, there we go. <laughs> As always, bye. Hey y'all, I thought I'd just show you a quick thing. I just took the rest of the little bitty burgers in a baggie. And then I'm wrapping these up with saran wrap to a, to a thing. And they're super easy to just, you know, take out of the fridge, give to your kids. For lunch or your husband for work yeah they're perfect so I'm doing this my husband and I already ate some of them they were so good I love them this way I really hope that you guys try making them they're wonderful and you can put them in the freezer just I just wrapped them like that and yeah there we go super easy wonderful to have for uh, a snack something handy make up a whole bunch and stick them in the freezer if you like yeah then just zap them in the microwave let them thaw out and then zap them in the microwave i think that'd be good i don't know don't try me away <laughs> but mine don't make it in the freezer very often get them in the fridge they're gone they'll be gone anyway <laughs> So, I just make them pretty often, so I hope that you guys like them. Yeah. Yeah, try them with that mozzarella cheese. Yum. Okay. <laughs>